Hello everyone, this is Ashirwad. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, we are going to continue with tokens. Okay. So the next token that we need to discuss is called as keyword. So keywords are reserved words in Python as what I mentioned in the previous video. Okay. You cannot use these keywords as variable name. So for definition, you can say or you can write that keywords are reserved words in Python. Okay. So what are keywords? So there are many keywords and you don't need to remember all of them as you go along and uh, as you practice more and more, you automatically learn most of them. So uh, I'll write few examples here like if then for while if true false and many more okay so these are all keywords so the thing is you cannot use these keywords as variable names so for example if you write uh, if is equal to 10 this is wrong or it is going to give you error okay but uh, since python is case sensitive language so if you if you change uh, case while writing any of these keywords then uh, it's go going to work in fact it's going to be treated as a variable name so if you write capital i small f is equal to 10 this is correct so uh, that's it for keywords so the next token that we need to understand is called as literals okay so literal means values that's the simplest definition uh, of literals so when you talk about literals you can say in a statement like a is equal to 10 or uh, s is equal to raj in single or double quotation marks or f is equal to 10.56 so we have three types of different values here three, three different values uh, that are assigned to th three different variables so you can say because 10 is integer type value 10 is a literal of type int likewise what is the value here raj so you can say raj is a literal of string type and you remember what do you call string technically str so we are going to write str type here and similarly 10.56 is a float type of value so you can say it is a literal first of all but of what type float type so any value you assign to variables those values are called as literals simple as that and uh, there are there are various different types of values in python not only these but we are using these three basically as examples so that you people can understand the concept of literals easily as we go along in the next videos you will come to know about the other types of values that we can use in python programming language so that's it for literals now there are two more uh, literals here that we need to discuss they are true and false okay and of course you can assign them to different variables like x is equal to true and y is equal to false now true and false are basically keywords okay but they can act as values for different variables the value true represents the truth value 
of some uh, operation and false can represent false value for some operation so they also work as literals and technically we call them boolean literals so you can say true is a literal of boolean type and same is the case with false so true and false and remember they must not be written inside quotation marks like this otherwise they'll be treated as string literals so that's it for literals the next type of token that we need to discuss is called as punctuators or delimiters now punctuators or delimiters are used for separating things in python for example you have you can use square bracket to separate things comma sign that you already know we'll be using curly brackets in future so it is also a punctuator uh, the round bracket that we use with function names mostly is also a punctuator and colon sign is a punctuator the dot sign is also a punctuator your quotation marks and uh, these are mainly the symbols that that act as punctuator so i hope the meaning of punctuators is clear to you